Norm, I just had the worst moment of my entire life. Oh no, what happened? I dropped my ice cream. It's not the worst moment. In sand. Still not the worst moment. I can't eat it anymore. It's still not the worst moment, buddy. <laughs> Hey guys, Noi here, and here's how to write character's worst moment. But before we get started, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Let's get started! If you're looking to ruin your character's life, you've come to the right place! A character's worst moment should be their lowest point. Whether you're writing about a person, a robot, or a bird, or literally anything you've made into a main character, if you want them to have a low point before things get better again, you have to really make things bad for them. But here's the thing, the keywords here are bad for them. Not bad for you, not bad for someone else, bad for them. What do I mean by that? I mean you must tailor their pain to their own weaknesses. Think about when you feel bad about something. Now, think about the very worst moment of your life. It was probably the worst moment because it got to you on a personal level and hit you in your weakest point. Feeling disappointed, for example, isn't as bad as feeling afraid and emotionally attacked. A person's weaknesses could be their fear of loss, their fear of heights, their fear of being alone, and the list goes on. In fact, it's an endless list. If your character fears losing their dog, perhaps that could be their lowest point for them. This is especially heartbreaking if the character is a child. Losing a pet is a big life or death feeling at such a young age. If your character's passion is her job and her life revolves around her job, then losing that job may very well be her worst moment. So every character's worst moment should be tailored to them and them alone. If a character doesn't fear heights and he's stuck on a high cliff, you shouldn't make him suddenly hysterical because of the height. You can, however, make him hysterical if he doesn't have a phone connection and he's going to be late to an important meeting that'll change his life. Now, why are they on a cliff? I don't know, you're the writer! Which leads me to my next point. Get inside your character's head and show us how they feel. Don't just talk about it. You made these characters, but that's not enough. You need to make us experience what the character experiences. And that means you need to utilize show don't tell. In other words, don't just say Lucy felt bad. Something like felt bad doesn't say much. Like, they felt bad or they were bald on the floor crying their eyes out. One is eh and one is serious. Show us if they're sweating nervously, chewing on their nails, shaking, crying or crying so much they're also coughing. Feel the character's emotions and show us their behavior as a result of that. You should also lead up to their worst moments from early on by creating little bad moments. A worst moment can only be the worst moment if it compares to others. It needs to be the final straw. So other things need to go wrong in your character's life. The main conflict should obviously kickstart the story, flipping your character's life upside down. But from there, what other things go wrong? Does the main character get scolded by their parent for doing the right thing? Do they get scolded by a police officer? What are the little things that push them further and further toward their lowest points? You could start the conflict on the first page of your book or somewhere in the first chapter, but you must kickstart the badness from there. Another tip to writing your character's worst moment is to slow down the moment itself. Don't rush your character's pain or misery. Don't go, they shook and cried, and then end the scene. To be fair, I've seen this minimalistic description done well, so you can technically do it, but only if the rest of your book is written in the same minimalistic style. So one of my lights just died and I had to get a new one, so if the lighting looks a little different, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, back to my point. I'm not saying that your character has to be in the fetal position for the entire chapter whimpering to himself. What I'm saying is to emphasize the moment and don't speed through it when it's so important. So how do you slow down this scene? With show don't tell of course. Rely on the five senses to heighten emotions and really make us feel the moment. When we feel bad, we notice more about the little details around us. We become more aware of smells and sounds, for example. We can register the incessant tick of the clock on the wall. 
We might wonder why the smell and humidity of rain feels claustrophobic in that moment. All the things your character notices in this moment can add a layer of heaviness to their situation and slow down the moment well. And last but not least, you could always use other characters to emphasize that your main character isn't acting normal. The way others look at your character says a lot. Are they cautious? Are they talking extra gently to them? Are they shaking the character from his bubble of misery? Whatever their reaction, it should reflect the level of pain the main character is going through. Of course, if your character is all by his lonesome, then you don't have to include this part in there, but if others are around, then it's definitely a good idea to utilize them. Let me know in the comments, what worst moment have you plotted or are plotting for your main character? Share your evil work with me. Also, subscribe to my newsletter to receive monthly freebies like writing exercises and templates. Visit my website to subscribe. There you have it, how to write a character's worst moment. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, check out my others, and subscribe to support my channel. And remember, no for presidents!